Hey, what's up, YouTube coders? Um, I've run into this situation, or most most persons have this situation. It's pretty simple, um, really. So just a little bit of reading sometimes can navigate you, but most times persons have no real example of how to do this. And what we're talking about is getting your GitHub integrated into Eclipse. All right, it's a pretty simple process, but I'm going to walk you through it because if you've never seen it before, then it's going to come off as a little difficult, but it really isn't, so don't get friend. Anyways, right now you're looking at my GitHub page um, and one of my repositories, which is Comic Zone, which is a simple comic reading and magazine app that I created, well, for desktop. So we're going to use this as an example. So we already have our Eclipse open right here. And it's on some random code that I don't remember what it was. And what we're going to be doing is connecting our Eclipse with our with our GitHub. So to do that, what you need to do is go to Window, and then you go to Show View, and then you go to Other. So that is Window, Show View, and Other. Click on Other. And then where you see Git, mine is already dropped out, but you can just see Git. You can just go straight down to where you see Git repositories right here and click open. What it will do is show you the view with the Git repo right here. So what you're going to see is clone a Git repository, create a new local Git repository, or add an existing local Git repository. Because this is a Git repository and it is not a local repository, we're going to be clicking on clone Git repository. It brings up this, this, this dialog box where you have the URI, the host, and the repository part. So let's go right back now to our browser where we are. And bear, bear in mind, you should have signed into GitHub. Here I am over here. So you see your little um, avatar. And what you simply do is just copy this URL. Just copy that URL. Go back to your um, Eclipse and just paste in the URL. And it will autofill the host and it will um, fill the repository part. Um, so what it's going to ask you now is for authentication and you put in your username and you put in your password. And if everything goes right, you click yes and it asks you what branch and you say master and you click next and it asks you where to save it on your um, computer. So. That's why I'm saving mine, and you click finish. And it's as, as simple as that. When you look down here where you see my mouse, and you see, there you go, your repository. So next thing, you don't want it to be down there. You want to start working on it. So what you do now to get it into your work area is to simply right-click on it. Or that's left-click. No, it's right-click. Right-click on it, and you simply just pull it into what you need it to be so you're going to import it in all right so you just look and see import projects right here and you click on that it's going to ask you some other questions you can just simply click finish it's going to be called comic zone and you look over here you should see it mm -mm 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 -mm. all right there we go. This is it because in Comic Zone we have it's called Complete Comic Zone. Let's make sure that it's imported correctly. So just click Import. Let's delete this right here because I think this is already <laughs> the same thing being imported because I imported it before. So let's just delete this one here. You won't be having this problem because once you click import, that's what it does. It just imports it into your projects and click import and click finish. There it is. This is it. Comic Zone Master right here. 
and it's imported. So guys, is that, that's how simple it is to, to integrate your Eclipse with your GitHub repository. Very simple. I hope this was helpful to anybody who's having problems reading those overly complicated manuals in terms of how to do it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, give it a, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't like this video, tell us why you didn't like it. And if we, you can check out some of the other videos we have which just simply make these things very um, easy to understand in terms of explanation. That's our aim here, to make stuff easy to understand and learn. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.